Hi I am Kishan Wickramasinghe. Exploring the science of chlorination, ensuring clean and safe water. Introduction. Host, H. Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a fascinating topic to dive into, chlorination. You might have heard of it, but do you really know what it entails and why it's so important? Stick around as we explore the science behind chlorination and how it helps ensure the water we drink is safe and clean. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our informative content. Number 1. What is chlorination? H. Let's start at the beginning. Chlorination is a water treatment method that involves adding chlorine or chlorine compounds to water to disinfect it. This process helps eliminate or reduce the presence of harmful microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses, and parasites that can cause waterborne diseases. Number 2. The Chemistry Behind Chlorination H. Now, you might be wondering, how does chlorine actually work to purify water? Well, chlorine is a strong oxidizing agent. When it's added to water, it undergoes chemical reactions that break down the cell walls and genetic material of microorganisms, rendering them harmless. Number 3. Types of Chlorination H. There are a few different ways to apply chlorination. The most common methods include gaseous chlorine, sodium hypochlorite, liquid bleach, and calcium hypochlorite, solid form. Each method has its own advantages and considerations, such as storage, transportation, and dosing accuracy. Number 4. Benefits and Challenges H. Chlorination has played a crucial role in reducing waterborne diseases and increasing public health. It's relatively inexpensive and easy to implement on a large scale. However, there are also challenges, such as the potential formation of disinfection byproducts when chlorine reacts with organic matter in water. Number 5. Ensuring safe chlorination H. Achieving the right balance of chlorine is essential. Too little chlorine might not effectively disinfect the water, while too much can lead to those disinfection byproducts I just mentioned. Water treatment facilities carefully monitor and control the chlorine levels to make sure the water is both safe and palatable. Number 6. Chlorination in different contexts H. It's not just about drinking water. Chlorination is used in various contexts, including swimming pools to keep them safe for swimmers and in wastewater treatment to prevent the release of harmful microorganisms into the environment. Number 7. Potential Alternatives H. While chlorination has been a go-to method for water treatment, researchers are continuously exploring alternative methods that are equally effective without some of the drawbacks associated with chlorine. These alternatives include UV disinfection, ozone treatment, and advanced filtration techniques. Number 8. Conclusion H. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of chlorination and its role in providing us with clean and safe water. Next time you take a sip of water, you'll know the science behind making it potable. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Outro. H. Remember to stay curious and keep exploring. Until next time. Present by Kishan Wickramasinghe. Thanks.